Welcome everybody to today's Tech Talk. You guys are going to love this one. This one is Sign Up Genius and this one's not necessarily an instructional technology. However, it is a technology that will make your life so much easier as a teacher. So what this allows you to do, this tool, is you can create sign up sheets for volunteers, or for parent conference day, or for classroom donation wish lists, and things like that. So let me give you a couple of examples of what some of the sign-up sheets look like, and then I'm going to show you how to create one. Okay, this is one that a friend of mine made and sent to me to use as an example. So this is for game day volunteers. So she tries to solicit volunteers for the various soccer games. And so people have the option to pick, you know, their their date and time and whether they want junior varsity boys and, you know, kind of what they want to be able to sign up to do on that particular date. And you can kind of look through the entire spreadsheet and pick what you want to do and sign up for a volunteer opportunity. So that's one example. Last year, our kids in my school did um, a food project. And in order to really pull that off and make it successful for everybody, we needed parent volunteers to help us in the rooms set up, serve, and clean up for the food project. So we made a sign up genius and sent it out to all of our parents. And we had a huge amount of parent volunteers signing up because of the ease of sign up genius. So this is another example. We also needed donations for that particular project. So we, we needed like large plastic tablecloths and cutlery and plates and napkins and all of that stuff for the kids to be able to sample all of their dishes that they created for their food project. So we made a second sign up genius to send out for, you know, asking for the parents to send in donations. So that was a big success as well. Okay, so this is another example of a sign up genius. This is uh, an example of one that we're going to create today actually. My seventh grade students are going to be going to the JA Finance Park and we need parent volunteers who would be willing to mentor them in the finance park for the entire day. So I'm going to show you how to create this one today. Okay so here we are at signupgenius.com and the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and create an account. They do have a free version as well as a paid version. We're just going to stick with the free version. We're going to go ahead and click the join for free button. Okay, so if we wanted to log in, we would just type in our email and our password and click log in. But we're going to go ahead and create a new account. And I'm going to create an account for my PLC so that all the teachers in my department in my grade level can log in and kind of check the status of the Sign Up Genius individually. So we're going to create sort of a, a group account together and that's what I'm going to do today for, for our group. Okay, so in your first and last name area, this is actually what's going to show up on every single Sign Up Genius that you create. So I don't want it to say my first and last name um, because it's not just going to be coming from me. It's actually going to be coming from our entire grade level and department. So I'm going to go ahead and put our first name as our school name and our last name as seventh grade social studies. So now I'm going to go ahead and type in our email address and our password that my group has already uh, decided to use. Okay, so now we're logged in as um, my school and my department and we can go ahead and create our first sign up genius. But before I do that, let me just show you the difference between a free account and a pro account just so you kind of know what additional features are available later on down the line if you choose to, to go that route. Okay, so here's our free account. Basically, um, we can use templates. We have lots of themes to choose from. We can have the Sign Up Genius send reminders to people that sign up um, a day or two ahead of time to let them know, hey, you signed up for this. The people who sign up don't have to have a Sign Up Genius account, although they are offered the opportunity to sign up for one if they want. We can allow participants to swap slots. So if I have a parent volunteer for one area, one date, one time, one activity, and they figure out that they're not able to fulfill that need, they could actually switch out with somebody else who is um, in the group. We can collect information. We can allow them to share the Sign Up Genius. Um, it will go into their calendar, their Google Calendar Outlook, or their, their smartphone calendar. There's an email tool uh, for invites and for thank yous. We have an admin tool to add, edit, move, delete. 
and that kind of thing. There's actually a data export, which I really like. So after all the parents sign up to volunteer for the sign up sheet that we're going to make today, we're going to end up exporting that information to a CSV file because we're going to be sending that on to JA Finance Park so that they know the list of volunteers to expect for training that day. So it'll be a nice tool to be able to use for that. We can upload logos or images. Um, and we can ask a custom question of our participants one time. Now, if you move up to some of the paid versions, you get a few more uh, images or logos that you can upload for your Sign Up Geniuses. You can ask a few more custom questions, and I'll show you where that is later. Multiple sign up for admin. So if you don't do like a group um, page like I'm doing for my department and my grade level, um, you can set up uh, multiple people to, to be able to log in and, and kind of run what's going on and see the admin features. You can do multiple email notifications. So let's say you want to email them a week ahead of time and remind them and then two days before and then again the day before, you can have that option. In the free version, you only have one email notification. And you can choose when that goes out, but you only get one, one shot. Okay, and you get no ads with the, the paid versions as well. So that's kind of nice. So then we can scroll down and see how much those options are. So, you know, I've always used the free version, not a, not a problem. So we're gonna kind of roll with the free version today. So up here at the top, we're gonna go to build a sign up and we're gonna start building our sign up. So here we are and we're ready to start building our sign up. The first thing that we have to do is name our group. Now, what this is, is the name of the group of people you're going to be sending the Sign Up Genius to. So I'm going to name this group 7th um, grade, RTMS 7th grade social studies. The next thing we have to do is type in the title of our sign up. So for this particular sign up, I'm going to type in JA Finance Park Volunteers. In the description, this is where you're going to want to put all of the information that all of your people are going to need. So my suggestion would be to go ahead and type it up in a Word document, double check all of your spelling and that kind of thing. As you can see in my Word document here to my parents, I have embedded some links here, a couple of different videos, some resource sites that they can check out because this particular volunteer venture is, is a pretty big undertaking and I just kind of want to give them a feel for uh, what they'll be experiencing and hopefully kind of get them excited about it. So I'm going to go ahead whoops, and copy my description by hitting control C and I'm going to go back into my sign up genius and I'm going to paste it by hitting control V and now my note here my description is pasted right on in here including all of my hot links so I can see even my bullets came over all of my links are here but if you want to just go ahead and type it straight into here you can do that as well and you have all different kinds of, of formatting options up here so I'm going to go ahead and click continue because I'm ready now to move forward Okay, now is the very interesting part. Here's where you get to start picking your theme. Now, don't worry necessarily about um, what type of picture is here. You know, you can and that's fine. But remember, we get to upload five of our own pictures in the free version. And so we can replace these images. So you're really just kind of looking at the background and the font color and that kind of thing. So I'm actually going to go ahead and pick this one because I, I like this one. This is a good one. And you can, you know, zoom into any of them just to kind of see them closer. But up here in this drop down area, and look, they even have a branded area, which I wanted to show you. This is kind of new. So they have the Math Counts logo already in here, which is nice. They also have Science Olympiad in here, um, which is great. National Math Club, FCA, 4-H athletes in action so there's a lot of uh, different templates that are already available that might fit your club so you can just kind of scroll through and see all the different options right and just pick the one again what you're looking at is the background the font color and that kind of thing okay so I'm gonna go back to this one and I'm gonna go ahead and click on that so I want to get rid of that band picture though because I have a JA Finance Park image that I'm going to use. So I'm going to say 
use my own custom image and I agree to the terms and conditions and now I'm going to go ahead and upload my image. Remember I only get five but that's okay so I'll have four left after this one. Okay so what happens now is when you upload an image um, it takes them about 24 hours to review your image just to make sure that you're not you know infringing on somebody else's copyright and that kind of thing. So that's fine. I'm going to close out of that but as you can see here's my image that's selected and I'm going to click continue. Okay the next thing that you pick and again we're going across the top here is dates and times and by the way what I love about sign up genius is that if you're not sure you can hover over these little help areas over here and there's also a video tutorial for each different section as you go along. So not to worry um, if you're making some different sign of genius than what we're making today in this tutorial. You can always refer to the frequently asked questions or watch the video tutorial to kind of get an idea of what you should pick. Um, I need to pick something that has multiple dates available. So these are my options. Takes place at one time at one location. That's not going to work takes place at one location on recurring days like something every Sunday that's not gonna work people selecting from a range of times like parent teacher conference so that's what you would pick if you had one day and people just were signing up for times or if you were um, having your students sign up for presentation times or something like that that might be one that you would want to use mine involves multiple days all the times are the same and all the locations are the same so I'm going to go with custom and then there's one that has no specific date like a donation sign up or something like that. Note that this one does not have email reminders. So I'm going to pick custom. Okay and now I have the opportunity to type in my date, start and end time and location. So the first thing I'm going to do is go grab my address where the parents need to um, go. So here's my address. I'm going to control C again to copy and I'm going to control V to paste it in and I actually need to do this five times because we have five different teams on my grade level and we're going on five different days one two three four five okay so that's great so let me just double check what's in here Discovery Center Georgia World Congress Center here's the address concourse C perfect okay so my first date is March 17th. My second date is the 18th and the 21st. So these are my five days and the volunteers need to be there at 8.15 in the morning and they can leave at 2.30 in the afternoon. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of my times in and I'll catch up with you in just a few moments. Okay, so I have my five different days in, all of my times are correct, and I have my, lo my correct location in here. Now, if you happen to need more dates or time slots, you can always check this box and more will appear for you. But we're good to go, so we're going to click continue. Okay, so the next section is the different slots available. So essentially what I'm doing is uh, in our PLC today we discussed that the parents, parent volunteers are going to sign up based on their child's homeroom teacher and what team that homeroom teacher is on regardless of what team their social studies teacher is on. So I'm going to make five different slots and each one is going to be named after um, one of the teams and I really want to bring that to my parents attention um, so I'm going to go ahead and type something that will grab my parents attention in the title of the slot something like my child my child's homeroom teacher is on team B and I'm going to start with team B because according to my schedule team B goes first then C, D, E, A. Okay, now I need to pick how many volunteers I want per team. We need 20 parent volunteers for every single day. And that happens to be the maximum that you can type in. So I'm going to pick 20. Now it gives you the option for a help comment. So in my help comment, I'm going to remind the parents the names of all the teachers that are on each of those teams so they don't have to figure out, you know, what team their child's homeroom teacher is on. All they need to say is, honey, who's your homeroom teacher? And then they can figure out which date and time to sign up for. 
So I'm going to go in here and I already have that all spelled out for myself to copy and paste. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste my teachers in here and I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, so I have all my teachers' names in here, and um, I don't want these options to show up for every single date. I don't want a parent whose child is in a Team B homeroom thinking that they can pick Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday. So I actually need to go ahead and select a specific date. So all of the dates that we have already put in on the previous page are here as options. So I'm going to go ahead and tick the box the correct box for each of these time slots. This is one of the things I love about Sign Up Genius. It is totally customizable. So you really just think about kind of how you want to set everything up and uh, you can you can work through it in Sign Up Genius. Again, if you're if you forget what each of these fields is for, this is kind of where I tend to refer to the help area. You can hover over any of these questions or watch the video tutorial specifically designed for this section. All right, so we have our slots all ready to go. Now we can decide about, lay oh, by the way, if you want more slots, you can always tick this box and extra rows will appear for you. So then you determine which layout you want. I personally want the date and time over here rather than all the slots available. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one selected. And let's click on additional advanced settings and see what else here. The header text that appears our slots above our slots says available slot. I'm going to have it say JA Finance Park Volunteer to make it a little more customized. Um, and I want my parents to only be able to sign up for one area at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and tick this box as well. But you could leave that unchecked if you would like. And we will continue. Okay, settings is next. So what kind of information do you want your volunteers or your parents for conference day or your students um, putting in here when they go through to um, sign up for something? So in my case, I actually need name, I need email, and I actually need phone number. Yes, I'm sure. I understand that it's a little more information than most people want to give. But in this case, I need parent cell phone numbers in case something happens at the finance park. I need to be able to contact them via their cell phone. So I'm going to, to keep that in there. Um, you can, uh, uh, let's see, contact info. Only the sign-up administrator can see that. The names of volunteers or whomever signs up is visible to your group, but you can choose with this checkbox to hide the names if you want to do that, if you want to make it totally private. But I'm okay with showing the names. That's not a big deal. Okay, then there's this extra um, field. And typically it's my comment where people can actually add an extra comment. So what I actually like to use this field for is student name. And I'm going to make it required because I want to be able to match parents and students. So I'm going to say my, my child's name is and have them type in their child's name. And I'm going to make it a required field because I need that. Okay, so here's some more preferences. I do not want to be notified by email every single time somebody signs up. That is way too many emails um, because I can log in and check that at any point in time. I want to send reminders out to people before they sign up to say, hey, remember you volunteered to go to JA Finance Park with us. So I only get to send one reminder. So I really have to think long and hard about when I want that to be. So I think two days is probably good, but you can see all of your various options here. So two days is good. Am I going to allow members to swap slots with another member? No, I'm not going to allow that in this particular case. Um, should I encourage my members to share this on Facebook or Twitter? No, I am not going to do that because I'm sending it out strictly to all of my parents. Let's look at the optional settings. I can require users to create a Sign Up Genius account. I'm not going to do that to my parents. I can require them to enter an access code to view my sign up. So if you want to give them some type of secret code, you can put that in here. Um, and you can reject signups from emails other than emails specifically in your group. So I'm not going to tick any of those boxes. And here's where you can actually add another custom question. Remember in the free account we only get one. So if you want more than one you have to upgrade. But we're good. We don't need to add that in this case. So I'm going to click continue. 
Okay, so now we're on the preview stage. So this is it. This is officially what is going to be seen by my parents. So I can see it's coming from seventh grade social studies. It's for the JA Finance Park volunteers. Here's my letter to the parents. Here's all my links in here. Here's all of the information that they can they can see. Um, remember when we put our first and last name in at the beginning? Here's where that shows up. So if you put your first and last name in as John Smith, it's going to say created by John Smith and here's how you contact John Smith. And it will go to your email address. So just think long and hard about what you want it to say when and, and you know who you're sending it to. Okay, so they can read all of that information, visit all the different um, videos that are in here. They can click here to fill out some extra things that they need to do to volunteer. And then they can sign up for a date. So here's what they see. My child's homeroom teacher is on Team B. We're looking for 20 volunteers here. And Team B teachers include all of these teachers. And that would be for volunteering on this date at this time. So if I choose to do that as a parent, I would click sign up here. So as you see all the way down the line, um, you can tell what date and time and the team and the teachers that will be going on the field trip on that day who need volunteers. Okay, so this preview looks pretty good to me. Now, if you don't like this, okay, oftentimes when I pick a template, sometimes when I actually see it up close and personal, I decide I don't like it. Um, so you can go back and say edit further. And now you're right back here and you can go through all the steps again. So let's say I want to pick a different theme. So I can go through here and, you know, pick a different theme if I want to. I can check out some other options um, and that kind of thing. So don't ever be afraid. And it actually saves everything you do. So if you run out of time, you can kind of log out and come back to this later. So don't worry. Anywhere that you stop in this process, or if you need to get some questions answered before you can kind of proceed, it saves what you do for you. You don't have to, like, tell it to save. So it's all still in here for you. Um, so let's go back into the preview because we're good to go. We're good to publish. So I'm going to say go ahead, proceed to invite and publish. So I'm going to click that. All right, you're now ready to publish your sign up and invite your group. So I can enter specific emails in here. And here's the email text if I choose to go that route. All right, I'm going to go with take my sign up live, but don't send emails because I want a link and I just want to be able to include this link in an email blast that I send from my school's LMS. So I'm going to click um, take my sign up live, but don't send emails. Okay, so my page is now live. I chose not to send email invitations, so none were sent. Great. I can always return and do that later by logging in. But right now what I have is a link and all I have to do is um, copy this link whoops, and paste it into my browser and I can go to the live sign up genius right here. So I could click sign up now and just to kind of show you what the parents will see. Okay so I'm signing up for this. I see here's our little secret hidden area. My child's name is. I have to fill in what my child's name is. I can type in my phone number. Hopefully they're going to give me their their cell number and they just click sign up. And once they do that, they'll be in my admin page and I can see a list of who has signed up for which days. So that's pretty much it. You can actually turn this into a bit.ly. You can see how many parents click on it and all of that kind of thing. Um, here's another video tutorial on how to manage your new sign up. And again, you can always, always, always come back to this. So let me show you kind of what you're going to do, how to get back to this. So I'm going to go into my account and here's a sign up that I have created. So I could view it, I can edit it, I can delete it. So let's just view it. Okay, so here it is. And here's our link right here. So I could copy that link and send it out again. And again, the sign up, the, the click button works. All right, so that is Sign Up Genius, and I really look forward to you guys being able to implement this tool. I hope that it makes your lives so much easier. I cannot tell you how this extra little work on the front end has made so many of the projects that my PLC has done for the kids on our grade level so much simpler and so much easier, and it's such a simple and easy tool to use. The parents love it. 
they can always go back and revisit the information. They love the email reminder ahead of time to remind them when they're supposed to come and, and volunteer and that kind of thing. So this just makes things so much easier. So I look forward to hearing all of your awesome stories about how you're going to use Sign Up Genius and how you have used Sign Up Genius to make your lives easier. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know.